Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. You're all smiling today. Is it? I think I know why. Anyway, people, people have tried to belittle us, but they have failed. We are strong. The weather can shake the foundations of the strongest buildings, the strongest foundations, but it cannot touch the foundation of our hearts. After living this short while, I feel that there, there is no need for any other type of faith but the faith and kindness in human beings. I'm so absorbed in earth and the life in it that I have no need and no time for heaven or angels. Managing Director Sir, Suman Lal Grero, uh, Coordinating Principal Mrs. Kumari Grero, the members of the managing, uh, the, ma the management, the teachers, and of course, my dear brothers and sisters. Okay, thank you. Well, as a student of this school and uh, uh, past student of this school, the first student of this school, uh, I have been waiting for this day for over a decade so that I could come on Founders Day one day and show my gratitude towards the school and towards my father. And okay, thank you. And in this time, it has come to my realization that greatness is not something that can be worked for, it's something that just happens. I would like to tell you today the story of Lyceum International School, how it came into being, and the story of Mr. Mohan Lal Grero. So, stop clapping. So, 55 years ago, 55 years ago, a boy was born in a small house in Kirlabana. This house had just one room in it. This was the bedroom, this was the dining room, and this was the kitchen. And they hardly had luxurious food to eat. Most nights, the, the, the dinner was fulfilled by having a cup of plain tea and rice and vegetables for lunch. This is a true story, my dear students. I'm not making this up. You all should know this. He started off from nothing. And first, he went off to Royal College uh, for his primary education. And in grade five, he was committed to studies. And in grade five, he was selected to the top eight in the country that were going to Ananda College, which was the best school in the country at that time. To say now we are. And eventually, he did his O-levels at Ananda College and went into A-levels. While doing his A-levels, just for as a pastime, he ta started teaching science for the students in the O-level class, just free of charge. Working hard during his A-level time, he completed his A-levels and came third in the island. He became third in the island, my dear students. Eventually, he loved the art of teaching. He loved it and he went on 
to become a famous, famous physics teacher. And eventually, he met my mother and they got married. And a few years passed and I came into life. <laughs> so, and, uh, okay. And it was time for me to go into school. Now, we were living in Mount Lavania back then, in the good old days. My father tried to uh, enroll me into St. Thomas's College and my application was rejected. He tried to put me, that's nothing to clap. <laughs> he tried to put me into several other schools, but there was no result. So I was left without a school to go to. And what did he do? Huh? Huh? He did Lyceum. Okay. Do you know the, uh, the dancing room, the Canadian dancing room in the front? So he had this land in Nugegoda. And he built two classrooms and a school to put his child in. I still remember there were only seven of us. One Chinese kid and uh, six Sri Lankans. Two teachers. We started off that small. And soon, very soon, those two classrooms filled up. And my father decided to build the building which is right behind me. This is the first building of Lyceum. I still remember I was small, I was into building and all that. So, I still remember we built this building one floor per year. It took four years to put the four stories building. Now we would build a building like that in one year. We started off that slow and look at it now. Starting from absolutely nowhere. Dear students, realize why Lyceum is there now. I think it makes sense. It's a school. Is it like the other international schools? No. It's not fun, no? It is a school for the middle class family. For the lower middle class family, we have all types of students here. We have over 500 students that are learning free of charge. This is a school for those without one. That doesn't mean that you are any different. We are the best in the country, there is no doubt. And my brothers and sisters, you too are the best that are there. Because you made this school. My dear father, you have proved to me not that there is any requirement to prove anything, to be more a man of value, more a man of value than a man of success. My dear students, Mr. Guerrero started from nothing, absolutely nothing. And I'm sure that all of you, all of you are at a better position than he was when he was your age. If you all work honestly, with a pure heart, with kindness, with a set of genuine values and beliefs, you all can make it much further than him. Remember, remember my dear students, by coming to Lyceum, we learn to be of service to others. 
not to ourselves. It's not about us. It is about them. That is what I have learned. My dear father, I have grown much taller than you. But you are certainly a man that I look up to. Of living this time more than thanking you for educating me and for giving me all that I need everything everything that I need I would like to thank you for teaching me how to live Mr. Berry if you could please come up on stage And last but not least, Uttikaro Alingitva Chumbit Vapia Uttakam Rajamajam Supatikam Pitupadam Namama. Thank you, one and all.